I think fracking's got a bad rap. Stephen Mueller is betting on the long shot. Just a few years ago, when natural gas prices were twice as high as they are now, this northern Arkansas ranch and farmland was awash with energy companies. But as the gas market saturated and pipelines became scarce, BHP Billiton, Chesapeake Energy, and almost everyone pulled out. But Southwestern Energy stayed. It was a real gold rush at the beginning. There were a lot of uh, small fly-by-night companies that came in. A lot of times they left environmental messes behind. It was very frustrating getting industry folks to talk to us about some of the problems. We we're pretty much told to just go away. Though the industry has attracted significant environmental opposition and New York State banned hydraulic fracturing, Mr. Mueller, Southwestern's CEO, sees shale gas as part of a low-carbon future. Even he sees that it has to be greener and cheaper to produce. Southwestern has made some progress on both fronts. For example, it runs its trucks on the same natural gas it extracts from the Fayetteville shale. Yeah, cost savings you have on this truck, just, you know, $90 to fill it up versus $300 every shift, twice a day. At the moment, I think I see it as a necessary evil, if you want to call it evil. In the beginning, I would have definitely said it was evil. <laughs> and Mr. Mueller is doubling down on his vision. In November, Southwestern, already the fourth largest producer of natural gas in the continental U.S., purchased over 400,000 acres in West Virginia and Pennsylvania from Chesapeake Energy at a price of $5.4 billion. I think if you go ask them today, they'd say Steve Mueller is crazy and Southwestern Energy is crazy. Wall Street isn't as sure as Mr. Mueller is. Southwestern stock is considerably lower than it was five years ago. If we consistently have the right people and consistently do the right things, our stock price is going to be better, we're going to be better, we're going to last longer. At least that's the hope. The real question is whether the demand for natural gas will rise as Mr. Mueller thinks it will. It is that next transition phase. And that transition phase is a long phase. It's not 20 or 30 years, you're talking about 70, 80 to 100 years.